Hi, I'm Corporal Jesse Schertz, USMC retired. Rooster, rooster! Nice shot, Jess. We're in South Dakota. The birds are everywhere that hear a thunderstick. Nicely done. I was wounded December 22nd, 2004 in Al-Ambar province of Iraq. Right. The group here is probably 90% veterans of, of all ranks, from NCOs to high-ranking admirals. Nice. This is fun. Yeah, it's 15 years, and our initial group was four people. And this year we had 30. There you go. Yeah. Being out here with these guys, you got to be quick on the bird. Oh, oh, that's the way to start the day. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this hunt of a lifetime here at Thunderstick Lodge, South Dakota, on ATK's Grateful Nation. Nice. Servicemen and women pay the price to preserve our freedom. Join us as we reconnect wounded warriors with their roots as American sportsmen. And show our thanks as a grateful nation. Imagine a corporation stretching the frontiers of space, providing our edge from the battlefield to the home front, and securing a better tomorrow for those who serve. Welcome to ATK. 16,000 men and women delivering innovation that inspires America. Being out here with these guys, you gotta be quick on the birds because they're all good shots and they're real fast, good shots. So you don't have a whole lot of time to, to pick your spot. You gotta be on the ball. Here, here. Here. Rooster! Nice shot, that away. You have to be quick on the trigger with these guys. These guys are all buddies, but they're very competitive. And it came very clear very quickly that, uh, you know, you see the bird, you gotta shoot it. <laughs> it's a 15 year tradition. Military, veteran friends on a weekend wing shoot, put on by retired U.S. Navy Rear Admiral Jim Meslowski. A time and place where soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines can share a common language and true brotherhood. It's been the only hunt that I repeat every year uh, at the same location. It's 15 years and our initial group was four people. And this year we had 30. Fuckers! This is an annual event for us. Most of us are all veterans, uh, military veterans. And uh, we do this as an annual get together because one, we like it, sort of a uh, boys weekend out. And two, it's uh, we're, we're all avid hunters and uh, it's a great American pastime, a great American sport. And uh, this year, it's been a tremendous privilege and honor for us to have Jesse Schertz with us, a uh, wounded American veteran. And uh, if we could have him out here to, to join us has been a real pleasure for us. Now, all the guys I've been out here with, uh, all have different backgrounds, and, and the majority of them in the military, to hear their stories and, and, and uh, what they went through and the backgrounds they come from, and, and to hunt with these guys has been a real pleasure. Nice! Hunting is about the camaraderie anyways, but with a group like this where you've got fighter pilots, corpsmen who served in Vietnam, Marines, we've got a wounded warrior, uh, Jesse, with us this time around. You get a pretty special cross-section of America, and you also realize um, how small that world really is. I mean, there's a very small number of people who are on the front lines protecting this country, and to be out here and hunt with these guys for a couple of days is a real honor. Nicely done. We're in South Dakota, and it's, it's in November, and we've just been lousy with birds. The birds are everywhere out here at Thunderstick. For a quarter century, Thunderstick has been the premier lodge in the premier state, South Dakota. 
where a million roosters will be harvested. Whoa! To prep for his first pheasant hunt, Jesse Schertz takes a shooting lesson from Todd Bender, Whoa. moving target shotgun coach of the elite United States Navy SEALs. Hunting these pheasants out here, some are easy shots, some are harder than others. Todd actually gave me some, you know, quite a few good pointers, and I, my early morning lesson with him helped out extremely over the past two days. When you shoot gun down, the first thing people want is to be gun up, which means they're going to start dragging with his right hand. And they're going to take this right hand to get the stock into the shoulder. And when I do that, look what happens to the muzzle. Yeah. It comes down, and I've got to recover and try to find the target. Chris's mentor in his shooting world is Todd Bender, who is a 25-time plus national champion in skeet. Todd also was very gracious and kind to, to have a few hours with Jesse or an hour or so in the morning down on the, on the sporting clay course too. Uh, he's a phenomenal shooter, world record holder, and he's part of our group. It, it was actually a great morning. A lot of times we have people with military training, they're more uh, rifle shooters, uh, front sight guys, uh, which is completely different from shotgun shooting. And, and Jesse was very impressive. As far as the fundamentals, what it takes to hit a moving target with shotgun, he already had it, he knew it. And I was able to, to I, I hope I helped him a little bit with some fundamentals that, that cleaned his game up a little bit. But uh, as, as, as far as ability to shoot, Jesse was phenomenal. Uh, very easy to teach. And uh, we, I think we had a really good morning together. Well, beautiful shot. Wow, do that again. Well, beautiful shot, fantastic. I was on target quite a bit better than what I had oh. been the first day. Um, never having been instructed like that in, in shotgun shooting. Rooster, rooster! I'm Tim Abel, and you're watching Grateful Nation on the Outdoor Channel. So you're not the greatest shooter who's ever lived, have yet to run out of trophy space, and don't live on a private range on a street called Shootout Lane with a wife and daughter who also love guns. There's still one big thing you and the legendary Jerry Michalik have in common. Let's go play. You both love saving money. That's why for all things shooting, Jerry shops cheaper than dirt, and why you should too. That's fine. Cheaper than dirt, America's ultimate shooting sports discounter and proud sponsor of Shooting's Royal Family. Out here, answers should always outweigh excuses. And there's no excuse why a gas-powered, heavy-duty truck can't do everything you ask of it. No excuse at all. The new 6.4-liter Hemi-powered Ram Heavy Duty with best-in-class payload. ATK's Grateful Nation is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Cheaper than dirt, America's ultimate shooting sports discounter. Powered by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. Bushnell, laws of performance. Savage Arms, the definition of accuracy. And by Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you. South Dakota's Thunderstick Lodge has a long-standing tradition of a pheasant weekend for a band of military friends. And wounded veteran Marine Lance Corporal Jesse Schertz and I are privileged to join forces with this great group. We've been hunting with uh, this group for, gosh, my father's been here about 15 years now. I've probably come about 10. Uh, and since then, the group continues to grow every year. So uh, we have uh, invited uh, tons of our uh, military friends, uh, 
um, mostly retired by now. Um, and uh, every year we try to keep uh, coming back and making it bigger each time. Nice! Out of way! Rooster! Rooster! Nice shot, guys! Out of way! Rooster! Rooster! Nice! Pheasants may be something new for Jesse, but he comes with a lifetime of experience and a lifelong love of hunting to the point that he can't imagine his life without it. It's, it's in my blood. Hunting's in my blood has been since I was young. He loves to hunt, and it's refreshing to hear, see him out here, see him out here having a great time. Being in the field special for me because that's where I grew up. I like being out here strictly because of, you know, just the, the simplicity of it. It's a way for me to relax. I get a lot of thinking done, and I hopefully, hopefully I never get to the point where I can't do it. Nice! Out of way! Corporal Shirts is uh, he's a can-do marine. Never say never. He's a guy that's out here. Uh, if he didn't, if you didn't know, he didn't have a, a, a leg. Uh, that he's only got one good leg. I should say one one leg that's down there. Uh, you would never know that 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 he was um, uh, missing a leg. He's got this cool prosthetic leg now, wrapped with a t-shirt that he was telling the story of. And it's got the uh, USMC logo on it as well. But it's, uh, it's a tribute to, to his service. But you would never know. And there's no complaints in this guy at all. This guy is um, just a, a can-do Marine. On patrol in Al-Assad, Iraq in 2006, Corporal Schertz could only wonder if he'd ever hunt again when he and six comrades were attacked by a suicide bomber. My incident in particular, we were hit by a suicide car bomb with four or five 155 artillery rounds and homemade napalm. Jesse suffered some severe burns on his face, on his hands, uh, lost his leg, and he's come back strong. And he's, he's uh, I'll say he's the epitome of a lot of these young men that go off the war and come back broken, but not beat. I spent 15 months at Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas. A month to two months of that was actually admitted into the hospital, having surgeries and whatnot. Many months doing physical therapy, learning to walk on a prosthetic, using different prosthetics, and uh, some physical therapy for, you know, the burns and stuff as well. In my recovery, my, you know, the doctors did an amazing job down there. It's some of the best doctors in the world. It's the best burn center in the world. My mom come down there and spent six months with me, pushing me in a wheelchair back and forth to different doctor's appointments. My family's been extremely supportive in anything they can do to help me. In the after effect, my wife, she's, she's been you know, my saving grace through it all. She's helped me through a lot more than she knows. If it wasn't for her, I'd be in a lot worse place in my life. The team of 30 hunters heads out into the rows of corn to pull a four-quart press on the fast-running, hard-flying birds that number in the millions in South Dakota. And Jesse's love affair with pheasants grows. One straight in front of me here. See him? Right in front of me. He's coming out your, your side. Up to about 20 yards. Coming out your, your end. This is fun. Today was probably my uh, my my worst day, but uh, I still had a great time because these darn birds get up there and just are just are gone. And you have to be fast, and you have to get in front of those birds. And when you miss, it's still fun. And hopefully, with so many guys out here, we have somebody that'll pick up the bird on the flanks or or on your right side. Hi, I'm Tim Abel. Jesse Shirts. And you're watching ATK's Grateful Nation. On the Outdoor Channel. At Thunderstick Lodge, South Dakota.
You are watching ATK's Grateful Nation, presented by Cheaper Than Dirt. It's the annual hunt for this gathering of military friends at famed Thunderstick Lodge in South Dakota. And though pheasants are something new for Corporal Jesse Schultz, I'd like to say he's taken to them like duck to water, but I won't. Rooster! 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 I love hunting with Jesse. A great kid, great guy. Uh, <laughs> when you have people that like to hunt as much as you do, and this whole crew that we were with this weekend, with Maz's group here at, here at Thunderstick, uh, it was, uh, it's, it's just a ball. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. We're, we're a great facility with, with great hunting, but it, it's the people. It's the people you hunt with every day. It's the, the guests that come here and the people that work here that, that make the trip what it is. Nice! This lodge and its employees are amazing. They did everything they could do to accommodate us. The guides uh, worked 